Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be looking at the 2014 Mac Mini running Ventura. Now these machines are not officially supported by Ventura, but you can install them using the Open Core Legacy Patcher. If you wanna know how to do that, I'll put a link to a video up in the corner and down in the description that I recently did. It's how to do it on a MacBook Pro, but the process is exactly the same. You can follow that tutorial and get this installed on the computer. We're gonna be over, going over a few things. We're gonna to talk about how the hardware works, some of the features of Mac OS, including some of the new features in Ventura, and just general performance and a little bit about gaming because I always got to throw in gaming. So let's get into this. So first up, we're going to talk about the ports. These computers have a gigabit Ethernet port, an HDMI, two Thunderbolt 2 ports, four USB type A ports, a SDXC card reader, uh, audio in and an audio out, and everything works great. I had the ethernet port hooked up when I did this setup. That's how I connected to the internet before I uh, set it up for the wireless. Uh, I had it go into an external monitor, and I'll show you some of that in the video, but the HDMI port worked. The Thunderbolt 2 ports are also mini display ports, so I had those hooked up to a, a monitor, and I've also used some peripherals with those. Those mounted up just fine. I was able to access that data. Same thing with the USB ports. I used the Open Core Legacy process, and I had a USB type A thumb drive plugged directly into one of the ports. I have a hub hooked up. The SDXC card reader, I took the card from this camera, stuck it in there, it mounted immediately, I was able to copy data to and from it, and the audio in and out work. So with Ventura on these machines with Open Core Legacy Patcher, all the hardware works just fine. Now before we go on to the next section, if you're finding this video useful, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. These videos take a lot of time for me to put together and the subscriptions, the comments, the thumbs up, those are all great ways to let me know that you're finding my stuff useful. So with that out of the way, let's jump on to the next section. So as far as hardware goes, that's about all there is to talk about. I mean, these things are Mac minis, so they don't have built-in cameras or anything like that. So I kind of wanted to transition to some of the features. Now I want to talk about some of the features that have been around in Mac OS for a few versions now, and then some that are specific to Ventura. I'm going to start out talking about the things that work, and then I'll talk about the few things that do not work. First thing and most basic is yes, you can connect to your iCloud. iCloud account works no problem. iMessages work no problem. FaceTime works no problem, but this is a Mac mini. So in order to use FaceTime, you'll have to plug in a external camera. Another important feature that's been around for a while, but something that I use all the time is AirDrop and AirDrop works just fine. I was able to drop to and from my uh, iPhone as well as my iPad. Uh, everything gets dis discovered on both sides, just as you would expect, sends it right over. Absolutely no problems with connectivity or anything like that works exactly the way it should. So another kind of integration piece that works great is the shared clipboard. You can copy stuff from the Mac and paste it on your other devices, copy them from your other devices, paste them on the Mac. It works great. And again, functions exactly like it should. I didn't have any problems with it. Now, one of the new things in Ventura is Stage Manager, and they made a big deal out of this. It's a new way to do multitasking. You can have things open on the side panel. You can set up groups and switch between them and all that kind of good stuff. All that stuff works fantastically on this. Absolutely no problem with Stage Manager on this 2014 Mac Mini. It worked perfectly fine. I didn't see any problem with it at all. I'm honestly not a huge fan of Stage Manager, but if you like it, it does work very well on this machine. Okay, so that's all the stuff that works, and as far as I could tell, it works flawlessly, but let's talk about some of the stuff that just does not work. One of those things is continuity camera. Continuity camera is a new feature within Ventura that allows you to use your iPhone as a camera on your Mac. You can use it wirelessly or you can hook it up wired. Uh, doing both of those ways, I could not get it to show up. I had kind of a same scenario that I had on the 2012 MacBook Pro where sometimes it would show as an available camera and it would make a connection to my phone. The phone would say it's connected, but there would be no video being passed through. So that does not work. 
Another thing that doesn't work is Sidecar. Sidecar is the feature that lets you use your iPad as a, another monitor for your Mac. Uh, you can either do that wirelessly or wired, and I couldn't get either of those working either. I could not even get it to show up on the uh, Mac Mini as a, a device that I could set up as a monitor. On the MacBook Pro that I looked at, the 2012 MacBook Pro, I was able to get it uh, working on there. It wasn't very clear, but I was able to get it working. But no matter what I've done, I cannot get it working on this 2014 Mac Mini. Last two things I tried that did not work are universal control. This is where you can bring your uh, iPad and put it right next to your Mac, and then you can use your mouse and keyboard from one device and just kind of drag it over to the other device and control both devices with the same mouse and keyboard. I couldn't get that to work either way, either from my iPad to the Mac mini or from the Mac mini to the iPad, it just did not see it. It's kind of the same issue that I had with Sidecar, it just didn't even see it to allow me to try out the universal control with another device. And the last thing was FaceTime handoff. I could not get that to work. This is the feature that allows you to start a FaceTime call on one device and hand it off to another device. Couldn't get that to work either. Uh, I don't know if it's a issue with the capabilities of the hardware or if it's because we you know use the open core patcher to install this on an unsupported mac but either way i could not get that piece working as well all right so we covered the hardware we covered the features that work and don't work and now let's talk a little bit about performance as you would expect day-to-day -day performance is completely fine on this computer works just fine uh, these things only have dual core processors so any processor intensive stuff is going to be a little bit slow but otherwise just for browsing the web checking your email you know even video calls and stuff like that it works absolutely fine now getting into something a little more intense, I wanted to cover some audio, video, and photo editing. For the audio editing, I just loaded GarageBand on there just because it's free, but I was able to do some sequencing, some uh, recording and editing, um, so that seemed to work pretty well. I used Affinity Photo and GIMP for some photo editing, and those worked pretty well as well. On the video editing side, I tried DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro worked great. I was able to do do a uh, small edit, do color correction, transitions, lay layer on titles, things like that, and it worked fine. It played back very, very smoothly. DaVinci Resolve was a, another story. We have two issues with this computer. Number one is the GPU. DaVinci Resolve is very GPU dependent, and this just has the um, Intel, I think the Intel 4000 uh, integrated graphics, and it's only a dual core processor. So we have a little bit of an issue there too. DaVinci Resolve did not perform well on this computer, but Final Cut Pro did. Now, to be fair, I was editing 4K video, uh, so if you're only doing 1080p, it would probably be fine in Resolve, but even at 4K, Final Cut Pro performed extremely well on this computer. All right, so if you've seen any of my videos, you know what's coming next. Whenever I talk about computers, I have to throw in a gaming category. And these computers are not gaming computers. Most games do not play very well at all on here. Uh, you could play some really low intensive games, but we're kind of hindered by that processor and the uh, very old integrated graphics. So any 3D stuff, you're probably not gonna be able to play it at all if you are gonna get even close to a playable frame rate. You're gonna to have to set everything down to the lowest level. You will be able to play some uh, 2D games. You can load Steam on here, Steam works fine, and just try out different games and see what works and what doesn't work. What re works really well on this computer is either streaming games from another gaming computer on your network or doing cloud gaming. Uh, there's a ton of cloud gaming services. I've tried a few of them. They work great. You can take a basically any Xbox controller and pair it up to the Mac Mini through Bluetooth. It you know, finds it no problem. It's supported by the OS, and then you can use that as a controller for your streaming services, and that all works very, very well. So I think that about covers all the categories. As I mentioned, performance-wise, it works very well. It does slow down in certain areas, like the menu, the settings menu, for some reason, is extremely slow. But uh, there's slowdowns in other areas, and depending on if you have the 8 gig or 16 gig model, you may have some uh, additional issues that I did not have. I have the 16 gig 
model. So if you only have eight gigs in yours, you may run into some additional slowness. It is a little bit slower than um, previous versions of Mac OS. Now, I don't know if that's because Ventura is very new and it still needs more optimization, or if it's because we're installing it on an unsupported Mac or maybe a little of both, but uh, it's, it's a little slow in some parts. So my recommendation is unless there's something specific that you need in Ventura that's not in the current version of macOS that you're using, uh, just don't upgrade. A lot of the features that are new to Ventura don't work on this computer anyway. So uh, unless there's specific software or a specific need, I would just stay on the version that you're on. But like I said, if you want to upgrade, check out that video that I did for the MacBook Pro. It's the exact same steps to upgrade this Mac Mini. Now, hopefully you found this useful or informative. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you really liked it, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I put up another video. And I will see you in the next one.